Solar Cooking, a video by Christy Hubbs, Algebra II teacher at Dater High School. It's a cool day in Borrego Springs, California, but Eleanor Schimmel is cooking al fresco. She's using no electricity, no gas, no charcoal or wood. Instead, Eleanor is harnessing the sun to make her meal, as she's done almost daily since the early 80s. While solar stoves can be a great energy saver, in the developing world, they can be a genuine lifesaver. The solar cook -It is a simple stove that only costs about $5, but will last almost two years. Solar cooking is also being touted as a sustainable way to purify water. Our planet is being drained of its resources and energy prices are on the rise. Solar energy could provide cost-effective solutions to energy problems where electricity is not readily available. Solar energy is also an inexhaustible fuel source that is pollutant-free and noise-free. How do solar panels work? What shapes would be best for solar cooking? How can I get the most rays onto the food? What materials are best at reflecting light? Teams identify quadratic equations for their designs. After gathering more information, they refine those equations to be more effective. Then, the teams begin implementing their solutions by constructing their final designs to be tested. They evaluate their designs to see the results. Timing was the largest issue with implementing this unit. It was implemented in late November, early December, which made testing the designs outside very difficult. Having an alternate testing method in place would have ensured that the students could test their designs indoors and still get results, regardless of weather. The last big concern was teaching the content within the unit. The students lost track of the engineering design process when it was time to begin construction. Teaching all the content first would work better. I will teach this unit again because the societal impact this unit demonstrates is one that could greatly impact a student's view of their community and their world.